I'm Rear Admiral Thomas M. Dyke has retired. Welcome aboard. The record of United States submarines in action against the enemy during World War II speaks for itself. But because the prime purpose of the submarine is to sink enemy ships, its function on special missions is less familiar. In this regard, submariners have never earned more credit for the United States Navy than on 1 January 1943 aboard the USS Nautilus. To the biologist, Nautilus means a mollusk whose shell chambers are lined with mother of pearl. To the readers of adventure, it means Jules Verne's fictional submersible. In today's Navy, it means the first nuclear-powered submarine. To the Greeks, it means sailor. But to a group of Solomon Island evacuees, it will always mean this boat and this crew. Shoreline visible, bearing 320. Bougainville. There's a hundred miles of jungle and malaria for you. In Japanese, things ought to start picking up. They already have. All ahead, full. Come to course 320. All ahead, full. Come to course 320. New orders from the force commander. Bougainville. We are to evacuate a party of American women. American what, sir? Women. An Australian lieutenant named Reed picked them up somewhere inland, set up a rendezvous at Tiop Harbor. Clear the chief's quarters in the wardroom, Ozzy, and tell Potts to get some medical supplies together. Aye. Did I hear right, Mr. Lynch? Are we really picking up women? Well, that's what he says. That is, if you think you can keep us on course. <laughs> Me? I like him short and silent. Easier all around that way. <laughs> oh, brother. For a cook, you sure got lousy taste. Now, that Damon Fremantle... Rise and shine, boys. The captain's got new tenants for your suite. We're gonna evacuate some American women from Bougainville. Women? Hey, I need a shave. United States Navy will pick you up at Tiap Harbor, and we have to leave right away. Oh, thank God. Sister, did you hear? We're leaving. The light, sister. Yes, I got it. I'm afraid we're in for another hard march, Sister Vincent. Well, we've made them before, Lieutenant. I'm sure we can manage another one. Especially since this will be the last one. Now, you didn't forget anything, did you? Lieutenant Reed, we can't thank you enough. We aren't out of it yet, sister. There are Japanese patrols between us and the harbor. And there isn't much time. Well, I know your chances would be so much better with one less to worry about, and this is where I belong. No, Sister Mary. Your bishop was willing to keep the mission open when my government wanted to evacuate you last February. But after what happened in Guadalcanal, the matter was settled. I'm afraid you have to leave. But, Lieutenant, read the children. I'll still be around. Well, we'd better get started. Is everybody ready? Fine. Now remember, single file, no noise, and try to keep up. Zero two thirty. They've been gone over two hours. Now Lynch knows what he's doing. They've got till zero four thirty. I'll be asked. Are you sure they're American, sir? How do I look? Like another Valentino, Timmons. 
But you might as well forget it if I know popular. Yeah. He bet me five bucks he'd have one of them beat it up before they left the booth. That guy. Boat approaching the port quarter. That's our boat. Stand by to pick up passengers. Captain, those women are nuns. Well, now we know what they were doing out here. Well, what do you know? Welcome aboard, sister. I'm Commander Brockman. Lieutenant Eckert will show you below. Thank you. Oh, and thank you for being here. Ozzy, have any trouble? Oh, just the reefs. Lieutenant Reed figures are in the clear. He got the nun through the patrols without any hitch. Get them all off? Reed says he's scared of submarines. Okay, let's get this show on the road. This is the control room. It's the brain of a submarine. This is the mess hall. It's a lot more popular than the control room. Uh, we thought you might be uh, hungry, uh, ladies, so we fixed up a little supper for you. Please, uh, help yourself. It's sugar. It's real sugar. And salt. You must excuse our manners, gentlemen, but we haven't seen anything like this for a long time. Oh, uh... Help yourselves. <laughs> you owe me five bucks. Yeah, I know. All right, you'll get it. You should have seen Lieutenant Reed when we gave him those supplies. I wish I could have sent him one of our six-inch guns. Great contact. Bearing 290, range 5,000 yards. Looks like a destroyer, sir. All ahead, standard. Clear the bridge. Dive, dive. Mr. Edmund. More coffee? Yes. You submarine sailors must have something very special. I was so frightened just a moment ago, I could hardly think. You'll get used to it, sister. But I'd never get used to those jungle missions of yours. I wouldn't do what you do for a million dollars. Then neither would I, Mr. There's nothing to worry about. We're diving. We always run submerged in the daylight. It's about that time now. Fifty feet, sir. High speed screws bearing two nine five. It's a destroyer, all right. Headed for Tia. Nothing like cutting it close. She's passing over, sir. Looks like we just beat the sheriff, Ozzy. Uh, how long have you been in the Solomon, sister? Since nineteen forty. Our first mission was on Buka Island. Go ahead, sister. Help yourself. Oh, thank you, no. Now, I was thinking of the children that we left at our mission. None of them have ever seen any white bread. Hope everything's all right? Fine, well, fine, thank you. Well, your quarters are ready forward. I know you must be very tired. But when you're settled, we'll be glad to show you through the boat. Except for the bridge in the conning tower. Sir. We haven't had quinine for months. Take it to my cabin. Uh, 
about the five. Timmons, you've got a cash register where your heart ought to be. Is there any change, Mr. Potts? The medicine won't take effect for a while. I'll stay with it till the fever breaks. Well, Sister Thomas will stay with you. Fine. Thank you. Please let me know if there is any change. Mr. Potts said that he would stay with her. Well, he's a good man. You better get some rest yourself. Yes, I will. Captain, did I hear you say that we just passed an enemy warship? Mm -hmm. Bound for Tea Out Harbor. We got out just in time. Now, sister, don't worry about Lieutenant Reed. He'll stay out of sight. That will be easy. He inherited 40 children from our mission school. Through the day, Brockman kept Nautilus down. Because of trouble with the air conditioning, the temperatures climbed to close to 100 degrees. It was Mark Twain who said, everybody talks about the weather, but nobody does anything about it. He would have loved Ozzie Lynch. Did you ever play cribbage? It doesn't exactly take a Ph.D. to play this game, but it helps. When the boat surfaces, will we be permitted outside? Topside? I'm afraid not. Yes, of course. Would you like to see the torpedo room? Oh, yes, I'd like that very much. All right, follow us. And don't forget the duck. And Mr. Potts, it's time that you got some rest. You haven't moved since this morning. You've been here all that time? Sister, I've been on this boat for six months. All I ever do for these gorillas is hand out salt pills. <laughs> You're my first patient. Bless you. I'll check on you, Lenny. If you need anything, you call me, sister. Yes. Sister Mary, was Archangel Michael a soldier or a sailor? Ah. Lynch's refresher course for mission school teachers. Who's teaching the course, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's our patient? Much better, thanks to Mr. Potts. Captain, I meant to ask you earlier, can you tell me where we're going? I'm sorry, sister, I can't quite yet. But I can tell you the Chief Skipper has prepared quite a banquet in your honor. After you. During the Battle of Midway... Sister, I... do you know what that CBM stands for on the back of his shirt? No, I'm sorry, I don't. Chief Boasting Mate. He's the best in the Navy. Oh. Chow down. Uh, that means dinner's ready. Bless us, our Lord, for these thy gifts which we are about to receive through thy bounty and through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And through the bounty of the Nautilus. Chief Skipper and the men asked me to assemble you passengers here for a special reason. They gathered that your Christmas wasn't merry, and uh, they want to do something about it. Okay, Skip. Hang away, hang away, hot dog. Oh, oh, beautiful. Well, it's too late to play Santa Claus, so uh, 
Happy New Year. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, my goodness. Thank you. Here we are. Oh, look. <laughs> you know, you said you had a pair that were too small for you. Oh, they're wonderful. They're the, the very nicest present I've ever had. You have more use for it than I do. I know you had to leave most of your stuff behind. Oh, please, take it, sister, from me to you. Thank you. Captain to the bridge. Captain to the bridge. Skip, save me a piece of that cake. <laughs> it's your party, sister. <laughs> Aircraft contact, sir. Pass well astern. With all these planes around, the Tokyo Express must be pulling out. Well, just so a few of the big ones come our way. How's the party? Oh, great. Those nuns, they're so appreciative, so unworldly. They're an inspiration. Yeah, I know what you mean. They're an inspiration, all right. They inspired me to give up cribbage. <laughs> Come in. Well, as you always say, uh, starve a fever, sister, but not when you have a Christmas party on New Year's Day. Merry Christmas. Now I know St. Michael must have been a sailor. Thank you, Mr. Potts. Well, I, uh, I mean, we didn't know if that was regulation for your outfit, you know, but... Well, you ought to keep warm on a trip back to the States. Regulation or not, thank you very much. Oh, you got to try some of this, sister. Chief Skipper is mighty sensitive about his cake. Thank you. Uh, sister, you mind if I ask you something? Mm -mm. You always wear all that um, uniform? Ever since I was sworn in. Uh, doesn't it get, um, uncomfortable? Does yours? Oh, did you rest well? Well, I have some good news for you. Lieutenant Reed got back in the mountains all right. Oh, thank God. Did he say anything about our mission children? Sister Mary, your mission will be there waiting for you when this war is over. I don't know that, Captain. Well, at least this way you know one thing. You can go back. We're on the finishing rate of our battery charge, Captain. Any more flame contact? Negative. I figure we're too far west for the regular Rabal traffic. Aircraft bearing 020. She spotted us, sir. than cribbage. Well, you don't need as much equipment. Just ten cards, 
Turn up the 11th. 150 feet, sir. You still figure we're too far west for enemy aircraft, Phil? For a minute, sister, I couldn't remember the words. Early English ballads. Though I be wounded, I am not slain. I'll lie me down to bleed a while, and then I'll rise and fight again. Does that book belong to? Yes. This is Commander Brockman's book. Sister, if I had your luck, I'd quit the Navy and play the horses. <laughs> <laughs> It's the PC boat, sir. They're ready to take our passengers aboard. Break out the rubber boat, Ozzy. The quicker we get this over with, the sooner we'll get back on patrol. Nice. I'll always be very grateful. Thank you very much. Please come and see us in Southampton. Sister, that's a... that's an appointment. Five bucks, Chief. You couldn't win, but you sure didn't lose. <laughs> now remember, sister, quinine every day and keep warm. I'll be fine, thanks to you, doctor. Goodbye. Yeah, that's it. I've been promoted. Goodbye, sir. Well, Commander, you've been more help to us than you'll ever know. And I am especially indebted to you. I'm glad you enjoyed the ride, sister. God bless you. Oh, Simmons, this book is a little smaller than the one you gave to me, and I thought perhaps you'd find it easier to use. From me to you. We'll be back in a moment with our special guest. Tonight we are fortunate to have with us one of the Nautilus evacuees. This is Sister Irene of the Congregation of St. Joseph. Did our dramatization bring back any memories, Sister? Indeed it did, Admiral. Although none of us will ever forget the four days we spent on the Nautilus, it was a wonderful experience. Did you know beforehand that you were to be evacuated by a submarine? No, so you can believe we were amazed at our first sight of the Nautilus. Another sister and I had relatives in the submarine service at the time, so it was really like coming home. I know the whole experience of moving your mission back into the mountains and hiding for almost a year must have been unforgettable, sister. But what especially stands out in your memory? Commander Brockman and the men of the Nautilus they simply couldn't do enough for us. We have never forgotten their kindness. What are your duties now, sister? I returned to our mission on Buka Island in 1946 and am presently enjoying a visit at our mother house in Orange, California. And the future? I expect to return to the Solomons very soon. May I wish you and your mission all success. Thank you for visiting with us. Thank you, Admiral. I hope you will be with us again for another true and exciting story of the silent service. Mm -hmm.